Hi everyone. Today I will be telling you a story about something that happened last week in my Instagram DMs. Um, if you don't know, I'm a very, very, very small artist on YouTube and an even smaller one on Instagram. Um, I've had a few pictures get like some traction compared to my actual numbers, but overall I'm just a really small account and that's okay. <laughs> and this is a warning to all artists, like whatever your creative outlet is, just to maintain your integrity and to all the people out there who might be guilty of doing this, I hope you learned something today about why this is wrong. Um, and pause the video at any point if you need to read the DMs better because I'm just going to be explaining them. So, I went to my DMs one evening last week and saw a YouTuber with over half a million followers had sent me a message. And I went to check it out. I was super pumped to see that they basically liked my art a lot and wanted me to paint something for their boyfriend for his birthday. And I thought they picked me out because, um, I don't know, but I have no followers, so my prices would probably be super low, right? And, I mean, they are pretty low, I think. I responded normally and asked them what they wanted. And they basically wanted a painting of their boyfriend in a realistic style. So they sent a picture of him and a picture of my get out oil painting. Um... I told them what the medium was and had a few standard questions like what size, what date, and I told them what I could paint it on. I also mentioned that I wouldn't upcharge them if I painted on something fancier. I would just charge the difference in materials. And they didn't really seem to understand what I meant, but because they just responded with okay. So I just waited. I didn't want to be a jerk and be like, um, hello. Uh, so eventually she responded and, and said she needed it for his birthday in mid-February, which wasn't great considering my exam schedule, but, you know, it was fine, whatever. So then she said that I could pick the size and what to paint it on. And then she asks what I meant by difference in materials, which is understandable um, that it could be confusing because I probably could have worded it better. And also, this is the part that was weird to me, also what I meant by price range. So I was a little bit panicked here. But I figured I was just using like vague terms and maybe they weren't familiar with how artists price their paintings. So if you don't know, um, I actually use an online calculator, but it's basically cost of materials and like hourly rate or something like that. Um, some people do cost p per square inch, but that doesn't help me because I do so many different styles and such. Um, also, I'm pretty new at this. I've done like three commissions in my life. Okay. And two of them were probably for my mom. So... Uh, I explained what I meant, and I also gave the option of a painting estimate cost, so I would never go over the estimate only under, which is kind of confusing, I know. And this is also when I decided I hated doing it through DMs. So I gave an example of, if there's a $15 difference in materials, I would only charge that extra $15. I wouldn't do something like charge an extra $100 for painting it on wood instead of paper, if that makes sense. Um, but then she responded with this. Okay, so $15 for the painting if it's on wood. And I didn't want to be a jerk, but I was, like, getting kind of annoyed at this confusion because it it was also late and I was tired and it seemed obvious to me, but whatever. So I said that it was just an example, and she says, okay, she wants a bigger painting, um, 16 by 20 inches, which is pretty big for the style she wanted it in. So I gave her an estimated cost, which is actually good price for a photorealistic painting um, of that size, especially with shipping and time and everything, and it's much less than I sold I've sold paintings for at galleries. Um, I actually took off some of the price to be nice or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, and this is kind of all where it went downhill. She says she knows I have a smaller channel and she would, quote, really want to not just get something, but also support me and plug my account or whatever to her followers, which seemed like a nice thought. But the whole not just get something, but was it was weird to me. Um, but poor naive me was still psyched about it. Um, you know, I was blinded by the light, you could say, so I said how nice it was of her, and I appreciate it, because I know she doesn't have to do that, and, you know, I thanked her, but she didn't stop there. She continued, saying it would make my account more popular, which, duh, like, I agreed with, and then she goes, cool, so do you think that would be enough? And I was like, uh, <laughs> sorry, like, enough what? Um, and then she goes, enough for the painting. As in, she would promote my account, and I give her the painting for free. Now, let me just say, I know how brand deals work, okay? Back in my YouTube heyday, I had more sponsorship requests in my inbox than Skillshare asks for on the entirety of YouTube. 
no shade. I love Skillshare so much, but I know there are many companies who give free products just to have them shown or just to have them promoted. And some companies pay the actual YouTuber to do that. That's how sponsorship works. But I am A, not a big company who can afford to do that. B, I'm not the one who reached out to her at all. She asked for a commission and she needs to look up the definition of commission. And C, I work minimum wage outside of this and don't have nearly enough money to give someone a detailed painting for free. I wish I could out of the kindness of my heart, but I'm too broke for that right now. So I told her that it actually kind of made me uncomfortable, you know, working for exposure. Um, and I tried to say it nicely, which I think I did. And this is where she got annoyed. She said that, you know, she brought up brand deals. She basically said that way more people would come to my account, like more than $200 worth, as I said, the painting would cost, even though I actually said it would cost $215, but I understand if that extra $15 is doesn't mean much to her, even though it's more than I get paid hourly. <laughs> but I expressed this to her as nicely as possible by explaining why it affects me negatively. Um, and she used the same reasoning again. Like, yes, it could make a difference, but I just can't afford to do that right now. Sadly, I also my integrity. So sorry. Um, so I explained it again from the perspective of like a full time student and a working class gal. And she used just impeccable logic that not even Aristotle could refute. And she said the exact same argument, which was so moving that I still knocked off about a fourth of the price. And this girl, who makes probably $6,000 a week by posting, like, her daily makeup routine, just could not fork over the now sub $200 for a birthday gift for her boyfriend. So her logic here is what made me think, like, you know, that tears it. I am going to read this one aloud to you because I just can't rephrase the beauty of this message. So she says, I just don't really see what the issue is. Who wouldn't want to work for popularity? So many companies beg me to put out their products for two seconds on my channel for free. Some pay me to show their products on my Insta stories for a few seconds. My, pa my fans beg me to shout out their accounts and like their pics. So why are you any different? Especially considering you have no followers. <laughs> Yeah, let me just read you my response. It's a bit mean and really passive aggressive, but I think she deserved it. So I said, it's different because you're coming to me requesting work from me. If there are so many people asking you to do those things, maybe you should go to them. I work minimum wage and I'm not really looking to do volunteer work for influencers. I'm not comfortable going forward with this project, but I really hope you find the right fit with someone else. Happy birthday to your boyfriend and congratulations on all your success. So yeah, I'm a total jerk, but so is she, so <laughs> I don't really care. I was really nice to this entire thing. I was being kind of a pushover. I gave a really big discount, like, considering that this is fine art. Well, maybe not fine art, but you know what I mean. Anyways, the moral of the story here is to respect yourself and respect your work. And before you ask somebody to do something like this, how would you feel if someone walked up to you and asked you to work for free because they would tell everybody about it? Not me. I'm perfectly happy with my 130 Instagram followers and my really nice and fun subscribers, even if there are only like 50 of them watching my videos. So <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed the speed paint. A little information about the painting. It's on wood. It's done with oil and it is of at Canfergu on Instagram. I don't know. Sorry. It's C-A-N-F-R-G-U. Um, and it, part of it is for my imagination too. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye.